Okay, welcome to the Zabe Cast. Steve Zabin, Scott Lynn, Al Galdi, also Steve Solomon. Get a load of this wrestling story. We've heard of wrestling deaths where guys die prematurely. Yeah, overdose. S- strange overdoses. Never heard those Heart before. failure, why, why kidney they, failure. Why do they usually happen? When do they usually happen? Suicide, uh, before depression. Before 50 is when they happen. That's yeah. strange, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here's a new twist. Wrestler kills man. Vern Gagne? Vern Gagne was simply Vern, Vern Gagne. Gagne. The father he, of Greg Gagne. Okay. He killed a dude? Yes, he did. Are they really related, by the way? What? I have to ask they that. are. That's what the, the hell happened, Galdi? Yeah, Vern Gagne has been suffering from Alzheimer's for several years now. How did old he remember Vern the, Gagne? Wait, did he forget that murder 82. was illegal? Uh, he might have. Okay. He might have. Uh, he's, he's Vern Gagne 80s. is 82 years old. He is in a nursing home. And? He apparently got into an argument with a 97-year-old man. And he, he reverted back to what he knows. Vern was a legitimate amateur wrestling star. And he apparently, from what I read, put the gentleman in, in a sleeper or in a chokehold and choked him to death. That's not awesome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Th- you know what? He was 97. He probably didn't have many useful years left. He was in a nursing home. <laughs> and guess what? He fucking pissed off the wrong guy. Well, he pissed off the wrestler in the nursing home. He did. N- not the old pharmacist. Who Get was some just pub living for his, his death, days. too. I don't, I don't think him dying in his sleep would have gotten much pub either. Right. The Plus, guy he killed, I believe, too, was a Holocaust survivor. I believe that to be the case. Well, that's that's yeah. not good. No. What do you think it stemmed from? What do they say? Was it an argument over checkers? Or, Your fruit cup. You know, I don't think so, buddy. You know, I knew <laughs> He it was said something here. nice about Nick Bockwinkle. And Vern went loopy. Holy if he didn't shit. Wait. He listed his Nick top five wrestlers of all time, and Gagne wasn't on there. Golly, this is the ultimate shoot. Uh, yes, it? yes, it is. <laughs> you can't get a shoot more real than yeah. this than Vern Gagne with Alzheimer's in a nursing home killing another May man I in an say, argument with a sleeper hole. Vern, I'm surprised this has not gotten more pub because Vern was a big star. Vern is the guy who helped make Hulk Hogan a household name before Vince found him. And, and Vern, like I said, was a legitimate amateur star. And this has kind of been buried for whatever reason, but very sad. May I say that I'm surprised this doesn't happen more often? Wrestlers killing people? No, violence. Wrestling oh, in marches? nursing homes? Yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah maybe. Yeah. Well, they're usually really, they're old and feeble, yes, and they're right. too, attendance right. can stop That's, this they're easily. Too, they're, right, they're too feeble yeah, I, I, I'm to just, act you know, upon their anger and rages. Some of the guys are still in okay shape. Right. I'm surprised that there aren't more concert-like... I think Vern Gagne today could probably kick your ass. I'm, you know what? I'm fairly certain he could. Because as He's Galdi probably like said, Jack LaLanne. No, he, I mean, yeah, well, he goes back to what well, he knows, and if his mind isn't right, and he thinks instinct and survival first, he's going to kill He didn't somebody. eat his face or testicles, right. did he? As tragic as okay. this is, Galdi, uh-huh. we can't let it go to waste. We have to develop a storyline off of it. <laughs> and a <laughs> rematch in the nursing home. How do like, you do it? Yeah. Well, how do the I guy do it? Died, if I was the Vince McMahon of the nursing home, right. I would come up with a tag team called the Orderlies. <laughs> And they'd be the two orderlies in the white suits vowing revenge the great, on Vern Gagne. Yeah. The great gray duo. Something like that. <laughs> right. The silver fox. And I would build it up for a couple weeks. Come on, help me with this. You know how to write well, these you, plot lines. You could lines. go in that direction, but, but Vern... See, Vern is elderly. I, I think eventually what would happen is you'd end up turning Vern babyface because he's so yeah. old, and, and he is a legendary figure that people would kind of rally around him after a while. So Now, is he going to go to trial for this? I See, I don't know what you do with it. I mean, if, if a guy has lost all of his mental faculties, obviously you can't put him in jail. Uh, maybe you lock him up somewhere. In but, a mental institution. Yeah, right. Confined. Maybe something like that. How, how about as part of the uh, the promotion, we have a fake trial and have Vern go nuts on the judge when he's sentenced to prison. But the judge also has to be 85. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you'd want that sort of, you know, yeah. old age home On the scale of continue. one to horrific, uh-huh. does this eclipse the Chris Benoit? Oh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a one. <laughs> really? The Benoit thing this is much, isn't much worse. premeditated. He didn't this kill his okay. family. Is this two? In terms no. of wrestling, on the list of horrible wrestling deaths, no, Owen Hart was was bigger. Than All right, well, that's so just an accident. Benoit one, Owen Hart two. I mean, I would still put every drug related death. And also, really for, for the Absolutely. over this, <laughs> this is a murder. I know, what wrestlers but... have been murdered themselves? And just to clarify, by Bruiser the way, they Brody. got in a fight. See? Guy Stabbed suffered in a, a shower. Right? Guy suffered a head injury and a hip injury. They released him from the hospital. 
the, the eventual victim. Then he went back in the hospital and died. It wasn't like fought him dead. Yeah, well... The process was delayed. Yeah, well, a little girl got hit by a puck at a hockey game. All right. And three days later well, died, and now there's nets up obstructing they, they the view at every up, hockey arena. They should put up nets in nursing homes. Then that's, that's the answer. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Or turnbuckles, right. at least. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time.